Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And now we're back on the main character here. Let's try to do this whole Cluck and Bell raid thing again. A little bit more insight this time. A little bit of experience. And the experience of having watched several different videos from YouTube creators that you can find in the description of this video in the GTA Online reference library. Some channels I usually visit. If we've gotten some ideas, we'll try to try to reference them where appropriate. Let's make our way up to the office for a moment. One of the things I've watched was a little bit of a tip from the uh, Gaming Gorilla, TGG. Like, you would think that the Deluxo might be a good vehicle to use for this. I think it would be if it's allowed, and there are some restrictions on what you can use. But the one car he did prove was viable is in this garage. Not now, Lester. Man, we've been getting a lot of messages from people who are not friends. Ah, uh, let's see, this is garage too. There's been so much more marketing on the social, you know, the Rockstar Social Club. It's just not good. Not like I'm ever going to positively respond to anything like that. But this here. Well, I was just zipped around the map and blast people with missiles. Let's go be... And I hardly ever use it. I really, really need to use this more anyway. You see, we still don't have the... We still don't have the V on the map yet, but we've got a vehicle. Let's go back to the agency, which is right down the road. And that's... That's where we're going. When the phone call comes. Which it takes a few minutes. And I've kind of processed a lot of, uh, a lot of different things with the way others have gone about the game. I mean, you could do it in less than a third of the time that it took me to do it, I gather. Step one is you should do it on easy because you don't get any more money from doing it on normal or hard, which is interesting to me. Okay, so snacks are full, but we need them. Can we can we get another another heavy uh, thing, or do I have to give that? Got pretty much everything in here. Now I won't let you do that, okay? Because you got one on. What can I get you? I have to fall off a building or something like that, or you'll just buy one for five hundred and refreshes you when you start the mission. Is this all full? Take your time. You own the place after all. Oh, I intend to do whatever makes me happy here. There are some things that always are a little bit empty, even when I don't use them. Don't know exactly why that is. The first mission isn't really that big a deal as far as as far as armor is concerned, anyway. Here we go. Hey, it's Vincent. It gives me supreme pleasure to report I am no longer mall security guard over at Rockford Plaza. In fact, these days, I'm in a position to offer you a lucrative, although unorthodox opportunity to make some money and sabotage one of your long-standing adversaries. If you're interested, meet me at the Vespucci police station. 
I kind of don't know exactly where he was going with the long-standing adversaries. I mean, competitors, yeah, but like it's just a generic cartel kind of thing. Unless he means the police. I guess the police makes sense. And I will, of course, include the cutscene here. Just because. See, the Batmobile pulling up makes sense. Is going inside. Not with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness. Your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to cross paths with you again, my friend. After head of security at the Diamond, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's still a long way from a mall cop, right? Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop? Very conspicuously for 10 years now. In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, Effen what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some Effen coffee down here on Dix. And don't forget the Effen cream and sugar. Copy that. All oh, these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. So glad to be working with Vincent again. Hey, Remy. Location should be coming through. Money launderers on LSPD files with cash to appropriate. Honestly, if half of my colleagues in the PD were as results oriented as you, this city would be a different place. I invite you to consider this as a double investment opportunity. A chance to raise the funds we need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the cartel cop coalition. And 
Now you gotta make sure the missiles are clear here. Careful is what I am. See, that's what you gotta watch. See, it's not, we're not getting a good angle on this. By the way, I will be able to assist you with my LSPD privileges. Accessing your database and communications is a perfect job. this venture, I'm certain. Okay, let's just go in and shoot some people here. Because I'm afraid of blowing the car up on its own. There's one guy behind this door. Can we get in there? With the door jammed open. Yeah. I don't know that we were able to do that last time, but eh. At any rate, let's take the cash. Get the whole Kao Perico grab it kind of style of grabbing money. The one thing I didn't check before we do any of this. Do we have... No, we don't have the... Uh, so we do have to do these missions. I didn't know if it unlocked the trade price when I did it with Rusty Jack, my other character. How do we have to use that one even though the... I shot my own car. That's for making me shoot my own car. It's not overly problematic. Shall we have fun with these guys? A quick launch. Yeah, I do sneak up behind me in the Batmobile here. Or kind of cut me off because... Are they coming? Nah, they're way back. You forget how, you know, I hardly ever drive the Vigilante. It is an awful lot of fun. Okay. This missile locks. Have to clear the... If she gets up, that will be hilarious. Doesn't look like she's getting up. It could be on high alert. That's not going to change the outcome. Let's see, where was that door again? It's like behind the truck or something like that. Oh, you, it pops up when you uh, show up here. Okay. Knock, knock. You really should duck a little bit, guys. Same pattern. Loot, loot, loot. Looty looty loot loot. <coughs> Let's consider this a uh, forfeiture. 
You know, a lot of people did, of course. I have to say the Vigilante is a, a more fun vehicle to take for this. I don't even know if uh, Rusty Jack has one. Now that I think about it. He has a scramjet. Does he have... I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe not, because it's still like five million dollars. And back then it was a ton of money. Now it's doable. Let's steal their personal cash. Anything here with useful grabbing? No, it's just a radio. Oh, it's tools. And we exit. Expect someone to shoot at us. So while you're hard at work, allow me to explain some of the background to our endeavor. A few months ago, a new cartel arrived at San Andreas. They came up with a pretty smart plan to get their operation up and running. Pay key employees at Clock and Bell to look the other way while they use their distribution network to move large amounts of cocaine. The factory of the Bay is pretty much a giant processing facility for the cartel. Every other Clock and Bell van you see in town has a brick of elements of the LSPD were only too eager to get cut in. Ingenious, right? But they think they got this whole thing sewn up. And that's where we come in. I think this does have a limited number of missiles, right? But we'll have to freshen it up between missions. You got bullets, I got rockets. In more ways than one. I probably could have been more efficient. You just run away as opposed to engaging some of those guys and firing rockets at them. We are talking, there's a fun element to this. That was some admirable work. What did I hit? Officer. There's nothing there. What hit me? We're just getting started. Oh, yeah. Should be a phone call. Actually, that should freshen up the car. There's something there. There's something there. Hey, it's me. That was a lucrative effort. This is a solid fund to use on the rest of our planning efforts. The first leg of which I'll get to work on right now. I'll be in touch. I'd we'll love to see how long it takes them to get in touch. So recall it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna head back down that way. Just have some typical vigilante fun in the meantime. Oh yeah, we have to. Like I said, typical vigilante thing. Uh, let's pull the car in and out and get, make sure we have missiles. In the meantime, head back over to the, uh, the agency and then freshen up the armor. Because it does get more interesting from here than a call. <laughs> I 
Why don't I use this all the time? I mean, the answer is because I'm so in love with the Deluxo, but... Which is right... Oh, didn't you look sweet over there? But still. I remember thinking that I might have gotten this to be, like, black with some kind of purple pearlescent that wasn't necessarily a standard color, so I left it this way. It's been so long. Woo! I didn't even really try to do much air control there, so it's a little bit scuffed, but that's okay. These things happen when you have a Batmobile. The V is there, so let's just get some armor, and then we'll walk over to it. We'll get him to call us. Didn't use any snacks. Did did use up my armor and a good good bit of, a little bit of health, teeny wee bit of health. We can get all that up upstairs here. See, why am I going in here? No, wrong, wrong turn. We go this way. Run, 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 clickety. Okay, we're at full health. Got pretty much everything in here. And we saved twenty-five dollars. That's so worth the effort. Keep your eyes open. Always. Yeah, I could have taken the elevator down, but we just feel like running. Exit to ground. Dun, 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 dun. Having only done this once, I don't remember. Is this the the hacking device is next? Call. We want to be close to the car on this one because for some reason the last time I did this when I walked it I got a wanted level All right, let's discuss a potential way into this place The cartel are paying off employees a clock and bell to use their factory as a cover There are a couple things we'll need in order to solidify my current infiltration plan. Let's move all right, you need the phone call, and then you go back, and the next one starts the actual mission. It's a little clunky, but, I mean, we can live with it. Breaking entry. Okay. Go to easy this time. Purchase runs, but, you know... Yeah, it's like, what's fine. We're good. We have more than enough of what we need. Should have freshened up the car. Coordinates coming your way. I have a checklist for today's operation. Number one, a laptop from a Cluck and Bell employee on the cartel's payroll. It's got critical intel for our operation. Number two, a hacking device which is going to help us pilot a train. And that brings me to number three. We need a train. That's how we're getting into the factory. Wow, she was like in the perfectly wrong place. It may share a goal, but I'm fully aware we do not share a motivation. Yeah, she's down. Sure sufficient funds are allocated to recompense you for your efforts today. I was I was airborne that whole time. It's not the smoothest thing to drive around. I mean, intrinsically, it doesn't it's not that fast. It doesn't have that great a handling. It's not intrinsically powerful as far as being a car is concerned. 
And in the twisties, you don't get to use its major advantage. But we'll, we'll take advantage of its major advantage when we make the, the turn up here. Like if I hit there, then we'd be in the water, but... That's lighting up. Is that the guy? Yep. That's him. Can you locate the laptop? Yep. Batman's got a laptop. Good. He knew the information on this laptop is gonna tell us our optimal window for hitting the factory. We could totally have launched those people, but no, we're not gonna do that. Now we head to the terabyte. I don't know if we'll be able to miss a lot the uh, the drones. Let's see. Should I use the map? I'll use the little purple line here just to facilitate. Beep beep yourself. I will say this, doing the mission this way with the Vigilante, more visually interesting. More cinematic. I think definitely a lot quicker than what was I using, the Granger 3000, whatever. All right, let's get ourselves a hacking device. That was one. I just put myself in way distance. Locate his drones. Then tell it to his security. Take them down before you proceed. I heard this guy's been living out here on the DL. Not easy in a truck stacked with so much tech. It has its own gravitational pull. That should be relatively easy to find. It's not where it was the last time for me. Up there you go. You hear the buzzing? Did we get a lock? No. We should get a lock. Not lockable. Too small for radar. That'll work. This does take them down pretty quickly. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was like a whole manhack kind of thing going there. Alright. Once the drones are down, the terabyte should be accessible. So he's not actually here. We don't have to shoot him or anything. We can take a gun. And a hacking device. Rob him. Thievery. Find it. Go work. Keep the device accessible. We're gonna need it. Okay, with those two items taken care of, let's move on to the big one. The cartel occasionally takes train deliveries at the factory. We're gonna steal one of the trains they use and roll in right under their noses. But first things first. Set of keys if we're gonna board it unimpeded. Tell me where the train is. There we go. So we don't have to worry about a one level. That's good. Got Vincent as our undercover guy.
This is why you should be nice to the people that you uh, that bring you your coffee or whatever. Where are we going? Is this good? Now what? We're going all the way back this way? Is this one of those things where you cross a, a middle point and see it's sending you back the other way? Uh, it's all confused. Rockets, brakes, smashing into people. There's a lot of that. I deem missiles necessary. That's what you gotta watch. You gotta watch out for... Uh... This is not the best car for... for missiles because of that. It's so low to the ground you can blow yourself up. Okay, he just drove in front of me there. I think we're going to have to. We're going to have to do this a little bit manually. You're so fucking dead. Not really. I mean, you know. Shithead. Keep talking. Keep talking while I get this ready. Get back, amigo! Back! I'm going to die now! Get back, amigo! Find cover! Hurry! Piece of shit! There should be over there. That truck's still up. There we go. That gives you, there's the train key thing. Let's go where we don't blow ourselves up. Most of them are down. Oh, there you are. No, not really. right here. Just die already. Anybody else shooting at me? You're yelling nasty words, but if they're not shooting at me. Don't run, car. To back this up, you don't want to blow it up. The insurance on it is like, you know. A real thing. If you watch Sonny Evans' video, If you see Sonny Evans, you know, this this whole Mission in Eggshell video, it's hilarious. The whole video is hilarious. This scene is in particular. That's a civilian. <laughs> I think that was just a regular car. It didn't really need to shoot that guy off the back. Still some more fun. The nice thing is they didn't really change that aspect of the train. It just destroys everything. 
as far as <laughs> plowing through things and right in the groin. Almost missed that one. I was so busy, you know, with that somebody there. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't know where we're sparking that much. Me because I'm driving so fast? I don't know. Choo choo! <coughs> Thankfully, they don't have like a cooldown between stuff. Actually, we're so far out here. What we can do. Go to preferences, agency. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Progress <coughs> update. The train you acquired has been discreetly relocated into storage, where it will remain until the day of the raid. Things are coming together. Next on the to-do list, acquiring weapons and gear. Or the getaway vehicle. Your choice. If we go invite only, we can warp ourselves back to the agency, which is right next to the V. So, a little bit of a time saver. But to driving across the map. Not gonna worry about the twenty-five dollars here. Just gonna. Hey, we still have some armor anyway. Now, if all goes well, it'll go better, I think, this time than last time. Now, I'm going to attempt, attempt, I say, the stealth kind of thing. I might screw it up anyway, because there's a lot of ways you can screw it up. And, you know, I think GTA men... Well, GTA men just let's go with the cheapest That's stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. I can come for so, we have some important yet enjoyable decisions to make. Actually, On the one hand, cool. you need to acquire your preferred weapons and gear. On the other, you need to acquire your getaway vehicle. We'll need to steal both. These can't be traced back to us. Where would you like to start? So you get to pick which mission to do next. We're going to get the guns first. Now, I like the weapons I got when I went for Area C. I think it was, I can't remember if it was TGG or, G, or GTA men. I think TTG might have said go to, go to B on both. Because he preferred the faster cars and the weapons loadout. The tactical SMG is nice. Especially if it's silenced. But, I mean, the AP pistol's good, too. And you have better better options if things go absolutely to hell. Although you have good options. I, I might do B this time just so I could... Uh, the one thing I didn't... I'm, I don't mean to be rambling too much here. I never... I, I remember there was a scene in the... Uh, in the trailer that dealt with a... Uh, right, a yacht. Now. Uh, what happened to the yacht? Well, that's... That's that involves the yacht. As I'm sure you know, our operation requires weapons and gear that can't be traced back to us. The good news is that this city is crawling with gangs carrying that kind of contraband. Half of them are codes with this very police department. So today we're gonna confiscate one cache of weapons and one stash of gear. If any of it ends up getting traced after our raid, it'll lead to these reprobates instead of us. I've sent you the coordinates of some appropriate targets. You don't need 
bunch of options. Determine which gang is gonna have a loadout that suits your preferences, and prioritize accordingly. As I was saying earlier, we need weapons and we need equipment. That's armor and masks. We don't want anyone at the Cluck and Bell factory catching a glimpse of your memorable face. Now, we're doing this on easy the whole way through. So, there's a very good bet that we could go with perhaps some slightly lesser weapons and be fine. Now, hold on, let my wide car through here. Are there jet skis over here? Let's see, which one should we go with? I am the Black Knight, right? So, I hardly play to that anymore, but as far as, you know, black cars or black this or you know, black weapons or... We'll go with black, uh, whatchamacallit. It's a Monty Python reference, by the way, in case you haven't heard me tell that story of how I became the Black Knight 17 times. Well, that's just wrong. Let's go a little heavier. Or can we get... Ooh, yeah. Point. <laughs> I kind of just expected to do it the hard way. I've never seen this room. You have access to this room on your own. This is kind of... Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm seeing something here. It's green to grab. Heavy rifle, tactical smig, heavy shotgun. Okay. That's more than adequate. You with the well, we really haven't even had dinner. Oh, here you go. This is the part where it shows the... Yeah, there you go. This is what the scene from the... Uh, Ship's a little bit longer. Let's go with bullets and exposed to uh, another helicopter coming. Now we have to go up and around. Why isn't he hitting him? Where's the, where's the ladder going up? As opposed to a Vesta Virgin? How do we get up? Can we go in? No. Do we have to go up or am I just doing this wrong? No. Oh, here we go. There's a little circle. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Now that takes us back in here. That's not what we wanted. It's just in one of these little rooms, I guess. I'm just overthinking it. Grab the gear. You're making commendable progress. Once we grab weapons and gear, we'll have everything we need. Kit secure. Bring it all back to the lockup. Okay, now how do I get? I've given you three possible targets, but you can hit them all. If you... <laughs> Anything extra you get, I'll make sure it's available when you hit the factory. It'd be nice if you can work our way up. First person this time for a little bit faster swimming. Oh, it's not useful at range. Oh, we missed the, the vehicle a little bit. We can come back around for it! It's a sand dew! Alright, you know what? I think we have to. Don't you think we have to? Ow! That really hurt. He almost got us on that one. But this ain't horseshoes or hand grenades, so. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Let's see if that puts enough distance if they fade out. Over the car and down and around and out. Weapons and gear in the bag. These should be sufficient to take us another step towards our date with the cartel. Should be. All we'll need is a getaway vehicle. It's all coming together out there. Comment again. I like Vincent's ride there. I think that's his first view. Oh, yeah, Weapons. that's it. go back and do it again if you change your mind, but that's what I'm going with. There's no indecision here. Man, just a freshen everything up. We got full health, the car will be fresh and reloaded. We'll pick up armor on the in the menu screen. Life is good. Yeah, I'm I'm good to don't need to do any assault on Kale Perico right now. I'm a little busy. Yeah. 
And after this one, I think I gotta do something about dinner. So we won't do the whole thing in one video. That that might get cumbersome. Okay, where's the, the where's the marker? Good job. Now that you've secured all the weapons and gear necessary to take on a clucking bell factory overrun by the cartel, we should discuss your means of escape. I'm going to kind of go against the advice of... Uh... Next up, acquiring a getaway vehicle. We need to take the same precautions we did for the weapons. We steal it from a gang, so the trail leads to them instead of us. So we, do, but you know, a lot of them say, "I'll oh, go with the medium or go with the cheap car because it's just faster and it's easier to do." You know, I forget GTA men had one opinion, TGG had another. I am of the opinion that I want a bulletproof car. Did we start? We didn't start the thing. We just had the conversation. I'm go. I'm jumping the gun. This whole talk to him, go to the the, the marker, and then go to the marker again thing. It's throwing me off. Go here. My garage needs something like that to shine it up. Oh yeah, it's, it's it's nice. I agree, your garage needs that. Hit and run. And we'll go to easy. All ammo. Armor. Confirm settings. If all goes well, I'm gonna let the vigilante do the talking. That's what I meant to get out, shoot the stuff with the homing launcher. This, this should be pretty easy. The nice thing about C, too, is it's closer to where you have to take the car. You have to drive the, the getaway car less. Right. I'm sending the locations of three viable getaway vehicles. I'm sending surveillance images to you. These are our potential targets. You said that. You can actually get the other cards and scrap them for like 5k or something like that, but we're not going to go through all that. Maybe we'll try the other options on a replay. Already halfway to the storage room. Yeah. 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 But I'm not this time. Last time I was. the car oh, full over the air okay now there might have been more helicopters last time because they were prepared for me what did we get this time we got the terminus I got the terminus last time and my game glitched Well, this is one of the new cars. Well, I hope I'm recording. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with it now. We'll, we'll check after this. If so, well then, you know, that's the nature of the game. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, so because I hit them, I didn't I didn't get my equipment from them. They're not ready for it. Excellent me. choice. We're not in any rush out there, so feel free to pay the other gangs a visit and evaluate their cars too. You will be appropriately compensated for any extra vehicles you bring back. Perhaps on the during the finale, we'll do the uh, the chili ad run. <laughs> now we just come up and come back down. It's, it's just gonna end up in the same place. It'd be faster just to run up the tracks. Oh my God. Apparently, on my last attempt at this, I kind of followed. I went in the direction of the tracks where the the purple line or yellow line was leading me. And it's actually faster to go the other way, to follow the G-Fred route. Isn't it always faster to go the G-Fred hot lap route? And you get once you get past a certain point, then you can escape the cops. It's hard it's hard wired. You can't escape them until you get a certain portion of your way south. And because I haven't damaged it, I shouldn't have to get it repaired. The Terminus is faster than the last the last time we had the Patriot Mill spec. Patriot Mill spec's a bit more bulletproof. But we are doing this on easy, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Like I don't think the I think you can get this up armored if you Imani tech it, but you can't get bulletproof windows. I've been watching a lot of, of people from the uh, GTA online library. Check those channels out, as always. Cluck and bell, bell, the cluck, cluck, the cluck and walk, walk. You wound up on something? Wum, wum, park. Text as always. When you're ready to confirm your choice of vehicle, send me a message. Leave the garage. A perfectly sound getaway vehicle. Now clear the area. We'll be in touch. Leave another one of these impalers outside. I'm going to try to take it this time. If I had parking, I'd get one. Boxer, you gotta give us more parking. Give us one garage, something. Do some little update. Let us buy another garage or another property, at least. Nice if I can keep this one, but it's way too expensive. Mission passed. We are rolling through this a lot better than last time. But I still need dinner. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, this is your Black Knight. Even after next time, I'm still going to be your Black Knight. Have a great night.